All right, so two 4K dash cameras from DDPi, the DDPi Z50, which is the latest model and a slightly older model that is a DDPi Mini 5. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and compare these two dash cameras, especially on the quality of the video footage, both these dash cams quiet and also along with that, the license plate readability in both day and night conditions. So before I proceed into the video review, let me remind you that both of these dash cameras come at almost at a similar price point. The DDPi Z50 front only comes at a price of 13,000 rupees on Amazon and the Mini 5 comes at a price of 13,500. The DDPi Z50 has a dual channel variant that is both front and rear and comes at a price of about 16,000 rupees. The Mini 5 is a dedicated front only cam. So only a difference of a 500 bucks among these two dash cameras. So in case if you're wondering which of these two 4K dash cameras to go ahead for your car, this video is going to answer that question. So let's begin with the video comparison. So starting with the DDPi Z50 footage, in a bright daylight condition, as you're seeing, there is a Marty Bellino going ahead. And here is the number plate at a close range. Now, this is the most excellent number plate readability a 4K dash cam can offer. And this was at a very close range. Now, let's wait till the car moves a bit ahead. Now, here you go. As you can see, this is the license plate readability at a pretty far range, about 10 to 20 meters. And even this too offers a really good license plate readability at a far range. Now going on and shifting to the same video footage recorded by the DDPi Mini 5 and if I go ahead and zoom in on the close range, now again this is a really excellent license plate readability provided by the DDPi Mini 5 and this is very much similar to what the DDPi Z50 provided in terms of close range license plate readability. Now if we wait for the car to move a bit ahead and if we go ahead and focus in on the number plate at a far range, now again this is pretty much similar to what the Z50 provided and again this is a really excellent license plate readability. Now going ahead and comparing both of the camera footages side by side, on the left you can see the DDPi Mini 5 and on the right you can see the Z50 footage. You won't be able to make out any broad or a very major difference among these two video footages except for the fact that the ZDPi Z50 has a very slight warmer tinge to the video whereas the DDPi Mini 5 has a very much natural tone to it. Going ahead and comparing the license plate readability at a close range, now on top you can see the Z50 and on the bottom is the Mini 5 and you won't be able to make out much of a difference in this scenario. Well, if you go ahead and compare the same license plate readability at a far range, now as you can see both the dash camera license plate readabilities have a slight noise in the image but looking at a greater perspective, the license plate readability is really good even at a far range for both the dash cameras. Now taking a look at the nighttime footage of the DDPi Z50, now if I go ahead and zoom in on the number plate, so here is the number plate and this is again a really excellent read at a far range of about 20 meters and this is what a 4K camera can offer for you and this is something really excellent and this is what you should be aspiring for. Now taking a look at the DDPi Mini 5 footage at the same time, now again this is a really cool license plate readability provided by the Mini 5 at a far range at night conditions and this is something really excellent which I'm really impressed with. Now if you go ahead and put this side by side and show you both the DDPi Z50 and the Mini 5, they both offer very much similar experience in terms of license plate readabilities and I don't think any one camera is better than the other. Now taking a look at the side by side nighttime footage of the Z50 and the Mini 5, on the left there is a Z50 and on the right you can see the Mini 5. And I think in this video, you can make out the slight warmer tinge of the Z50 compared to the Mini 5, but more or less the entire video footage quality is pretty much the same and there is no broader difference among these two dash cameras. So this was the video comparison and the license plate readability comparison of these two dash cameras. I'm not going to go ahead and dive into the detailed technical specifications and everything because you can find that out easily anywhere but you won't be able to find the video comparison which I have just shown you in this video. So guys at the end I think both cameras offer a very much similar experience in terms of their video qualities and license plate readabilities. So what comes down to the point of purchasing is that if you want the latest camera and if you want a screen for your dash camera I think the DDPi Z50 will be the right choice for you. And if you're not bothered much regarding having a screen and you are okay with a slightly older model, I think the DDPi Mini 5 will work out the best for you. So I hope guys this video has helped you in making the right decision regarding which 4K camera from DDPi you can go ahead and buy for your car. So guys, if this video has helped you out, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button of Travel Tech right away and also do not forget to like this video. Thank you for watching guys and until next one, see ya.